Welcome back guys, I'm Mellow7, this is Football Manager 2018, and after a long, hard, kind of frustrating day yesterday, I'm not exactly fresh, I'm still pretty wiped out to be honest, but um, slightly better mood. Uh, we'll see how things go. I thought, I just saw a little social thing about Go Ahead Eagles, um, so I thought really quickly we would take a look to see how the two teams we played in beta have fared and uh, go ahead being one of them. So let's go ahead and take a look at go ahead. Um, see how they're doing and how they did last season. So history, can we check over? Well, I guess that's all they're gonna give us. Um, that's not what I'm really looking for. So let's see. This season, 17 to 18, they're 18th. So they finished fifth. And then got promotion in the playoff, it looks like. And so they're up in up in the top league now. So congratulations to Go Ahead Eagles. They've done they've done well. Um clearly better than I did. Uh well, I was in the playoffs. Fifth is where they were predicted to, to finish at the beginning of the season, so they did exactly. I was what, eight or ninth, something like that, but in the playoffs. Uh and while I didn't record it for you guys, I actually won the first um, round. We did a, a home and home, two legs against, and we won the first team. And uh, we had a loss and a draw in the second for against the second team, and that's what knocked us out. Um, so you know they did they did better than we did. Uh, and who else did we play? We started somebody else, and I got my butt kicked. Oh, Knott's County. Let's see how Knott's County's done. Yeah, we, we clicked them. Um, badly. Okay, I don't feel bad at all. Uh, and I want to say that they were predicted, you know, middle of the pack or something like that, but we really did bad and got fired. Well, they also did bad. They did 17th and, then, and now they're 16th, so... Um, well, maybe it's maybe it's this season there for them. Maybe that's the way the overlap work. Well, no. I think we would have been that season. It just dropped down. Yes, it would have been those two. So they haven't done a whole lot better than I did either. So it is what it is. Let's see how we've been doing. Um, and decidedly mixed. Decidedly mixed. So we, we beat Fjellhammer 2-1, to one, which is great. We followed that up by just crushing Finn's Nest 5-1. to one. It was, you can see, we got goals from all over the place two from Hogginson. So uh, one of my least favorite players on the team at the moment, but he's got four goals. He had four goals in four games, I think, at this point. Um, played really, really well for us, at least offensively on on, on set pieces. Um, they got one in the 52nd, kind of after we were done scoring, just kind of salvaged a little bit of pride. Um, but like I say, we did well. We got goals from all over the place in that one. Uh, we finished, followed that up with a draw to Rafos, and you can see here we had an injury, Hogginson, out in like the third or fourth minute, very, very early, and then Ingbritsen got sent off in the 35th. So, uh, tough match for us. We managed to hang on to a draw. You can see our defense played pretty well, um, which was good because our offense really didn't do anything, but like I say, we were down a man. You don't really expect much. Uh, this was the frustrating match. Now, we were picked to lose this one, and that's fine. I don't really mind losing. I, I expected this one to be a loss. Um, I did not expect 5-2, although this is the most frustrating bit about this. Can we actually look at the full match stats somewhere? No, we're not allowed to look at match stats. We can see the basic stuff, but that's apparently all we're allowed to see. Is there a report on it? Can we do that? Nope, that doesn't give us anything. Um, it would have been nice to see more than this. I mean, if I can get the stats in the game, um, even if it only gives me on the screen and not on this one, it would be nice to see those things. Um, is there an analysis? Analysis doesn't give us match stats either, but can I click here? Will that give us more? Here maybe? There we go, finally. Uh, that's way too many clicks to get to basic information, guys. Way too many clicks. Um, but you can see uh, we had 15 shots to their nine, six on target to their seven. We had two clear-cut chances to their one and six half chances to their four. So we created chances quite a bit 
well, I won't say quite a bit. One, one more half, two more half, one more clear cut, two more half chances. But more chances, and yet we lost, what did I say, five to two, five to one, whatever the heck it was. Um, and how do you, how do you, I guess there's an okay down here to get out of this. That's, that's just silly. Um, for whoever's doing the UI, that's too many clicks. To, I should be able to just click here and get all that information easily, just like we normally do. I should be able to get it in the game as well. Um, and I don't know why I can't. I shouldn't have to click to analysis, then click to match stats. When right here, I have something called match stats. You know, if it takes more space, fine. Let me click one of these. There's nothing, there's no reason this needs to be locked in stone here. Um, modders are going to fix this, I'm sure. But in the meantime, it's frustrating. Um, so, yeah, we, uh, and the game is there. Let's, let's back up. Um, so we lost five to two despite creating more chances. Uh, Sveen actually did well, got two goals. Um, we had to obviously adjust to injuries. Um, Hogginson is out essentially for the season, three to five months. He might come back at the very end, but he might just easily be done. Uh, we'll have to see about that. Uh, and obviously we had the suspension to deal with too with Ingle, uh, Inglebreitson. There we go. I think that's that's more or less right. So um, what we did was we moved... Um, who did we move around? We moved Monson back to defensive midfielder. Berg was asking for more playtime, and he is listed as a key player. Uh, so we moved him into the mid-center. And this may have been what I meant in the first place. I'm not sure. Maybe Monson was meant to be the backup at defensive midfielder. I don't remember exactly, but Monson is actually a pretty darn good defensive midfielder. Um, we'll click back here one. I mean, marking of nine, tackling of 12, so uh, and good positioning as well. So he may play there a lot more often. We are going to have to uh, play uh, whatever the heck I just said his name was, Berg, uh, more because I have promised him more starting play time. Uh, hopefully he'll come around. You can see Monson's played pretty well, 7.1 versus 6.72, which is not spectacular. Um, but six games versus 1.3. You know, he hasn't had a chance to be in the, some of those blowouts. So I think that essentially gets us up to date. That leaves us at the moment right where we need to be outside of relegation. If we can get four points every three games, if we can do a win, a loss, and a draw throughout the season, I think we'll be fine. We're a little bit below that right now with a win, a draw, and a loss. Um, but if we can get a win today, we're right back on pace for that. And uh, Garud, Rufus, and Finhos. And we are playing Garud, who is below us right now. So we need to win these games. I'm going to quickly do a save because we have had some issues with that. Be right back. All right. So let's take a look at our tactic for today. Uh, no real change in the tactic per se. Um, we are running Monson back here still. We do have Berg here. Now, Ingbrigtsen, I noticed, also plays um, mid right. And he's not terrible at it, to be honest. He has good crossing, good dribbling. These are skills that we didn't really use him too much back there in defensive midfielder and a decent long shot. Now, he he's not terribly fast. Pace of nine, acceleration is only seven. Um, but his stamina is 11. You know, he's got decent work rate and he does have good leadership and he has some creativity with some flair of 11. His composure is only seven. Probably not going to score a lot of goals for us despite that long shots, but, you know, we'll take it. So, um, uh, Johansson here. Uh, hadn't had a break in a while, and you can see 78%. He's down a bit. Dolly's the other one that's that's pretty tired, or going to be pretty tired. Um, are we not up to the day? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll be right back again. <clears throat> All right, guys, welcome back. We go ahead and hit continue a few times. I saved it one more time. And we are here. Uh, we are inconsistent. They are in poor form. They do have a player suspended and a doubtful, and we have Hogginson out which despite his four goals, I don't think is the worst player we could lose. My little dog Shorty was burrowing under the covers. He was over there. I don't know why I bother making the bed, but he, he needed to be more comfortable. <laughs> All right. Because we have swapped around a lot of players right here, essentially. We've we've kind of, you know, Monson's gone back, Ingbertson's gone up, Berg's come in. We've lost a little bit of these relationships that we were beginning to build here that we'll have to try to rebuild. Hopefully, we're going to start to get a con uh, uh, 
relationship here soon as well. But at least we have this one. It'd also be nice if we see this. Uh, Hovick is going to fill in uh, because of the injury. Um, we're just going to have to kind of see how it goes. He's not terrible, and he's got a lot of leadership, so I'm hoping that helps, you know, um, kind of balance things out a little bit. Uh, he is, I believe, our team captain as well, despite the fact he's not a starter, because 17 leadership and 16 teamwork is hard to ignore. He does have decent heading and tackling. His marking's a little bit low. First touch is coming up, and he's got some acceleration and pace, which is actually pretty good. Um, I'm not really sure why I decided to go with him rather than Hogginson. Um, maybe just Hogginson's heading, which has paid off in those goals. So, um, you know, I think maybe it was the right choice, but it's hard to tell, really. So that's that's the other change. Um, also, we're running Osthagen out here um, to give Simons, Simonson? Herxdahl. We're giving Herxdahl a day off. Um, rotating him through. And he's not spectacular, um, but his passing's nine. Tackling is okay. Marking is pretty poor. Um, you know, but he does have a six of crossing, and he's got some speed. So uh, that's essentially the changes. He's out here, Hovick's in here, and this little switch here. So to give guys here on the right side a break, because they just weren't getting it. Um, mostly because I didn't have spectacular people to put in, and because I didn't really have huge upgrades, they just kind of sat there and got more and more tired. Um, but you know what? We need to rotate. We need to make sure we rotate um, for injuries as much as for anything else. So dressing room, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll go out there and press me. Okay. Uh, kickoff. And let's see what happens. Oh, we we pretty much... Well, I mean, we don't have to have a win, but a, a draw would be okay. Um, a loss would be terrible for us right now. But But a win would be great. Obviously, win is always great. And this is a team that we should we should be able to be competitive with. You know, last time we played a team, we were ranked one higher than we crushed them. So, um, you know, we've got the ability. Um, and like I say, even last game, you know, we, ha we created the chances. We were unable to capitalize on those chances, but we created them. There we go. Carbon's in. It's just the beginning of our chances. Berg was charging it. Oh, puts it a little high. Um, well, that's our first half chance. And that... That tells you right there, you know, that it was more than a little high, but that's kind of how things go. Hopefully, just while we're not capitalizing on all of ours, we're not giving up, you know, five goals to Grorud. Grorud? Garud? Garud? I'm going to go Grorud. No, I don't know what it is. And, um, yeah, exciting match. One shot to piece. They fouled us a bunch. We have a slight advantage in um, possession. They got a second shot, which was on target, actually, from not too terribly far away. And that's it. I'm going to go maybe a get creative. We do have some creative players out there. They're going to get a free kick. So clearly we're doing a little fouling back. That one they just boot over, though. Shala puts that one. I do love the Bumblebee kit that... Uh, that A-team wears in, in goal. Rune's been quite air-prone today, so maybe we swap him out today. Uh, we could put uh, Valoy in. Oh, this this looks dangerous. And it was. And it was Castrati. Okay. Um, not a great name. Uh, we lose the header. Who lost the header? Who was that? Um, we can click on their players, we just can't click on our players. There we go. Helmvet lost the header. And, uh, just boots it in. We had everybody in place, just snuck it in the, snuck it in between there. And, uh, Castrati was left, left singing a high-pitched victory song. Oh, tried to feed it up to Carbon, but Carbon wasn't even paying attention. Wasn't even looking. Had no idea it was coming in. Rune, there you go. Carbon was paying attention for that one. Can you put the finish this time on? There we go. We get the equalizer back. Rune feeds it up to Carbon. Maybe we keep Rune in. I was ta thinking about swapping him out, but, you know, maybe that gives him a little bit of confidence. Turns around, steals it. Nice, nice extra little tackle there. Pass up to Carbon, who is able to put this one away. When we cannot get Carbon isolated, he usually does pretty good. This is our one bright finishing spot on the team. Um, 
Hard to tell how the last match would have gone if we would have had Carbon playing instead of Sphine. Again, we need to we do need to rotate some players somewhat. Um, Carbon doesn't have the speed to create the chances that Sphine creates, but Sphine then doesn't have the finishing to take advantage of some of the the chances that he does create. So, you know, six of one, half dozen the other. You know, you give with one hand, take away. You know, come on, Carbon, that one clearly, and then nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. It was halftime, I guess, or close enough. So at the end, fairly equal. They've had a couple more shots than us, um, but they've also had more fouls to get there, and obviously the score is what the score is. Um, keep doing what we're doing, and I think we will be okay. Let's check our tactics, see if anybody's just been horrible. Um, well, despite that, Rune still has a 6-6. Six -six. Grave hasn't been great. Ingbertson hasn't been great. Um... Hmm. Do we want to put Johansson back in? He's faster. I mean that that's something. Um he he does Let's see. We're not really taking advantage cuz we play wider too. So Ing uh Ingbertson ends up fairly wide out there and he's just not very fast. And I really like what he does, but you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to leave him in because he had a he had a break last match. So let's swap him back for Monson, and then let's go ahead and we're going to bring Johans back in. Um, you know, he had the first half off, and we'll kind of swap that way and see if that gets us a little bit more of an excitement there on the right side, if we can maybe take more advantage of that. And meanwhile, we'll give Monson a little bit of a break and uh, see what we can get going on here. And they, of course, just steal the ball away from us and roll on. And maybe put an Ingbertson back into defensive midfielder or he'll play a little bit better as well. Um, Hovick's got that one up to Carlisle. Out to Osthagen, who boots it way up to Carbon. Carbon's got it. Can he make him pay again? Not initially, no. And nobody else followed him. Everybody else stayed way back. But um, he ends up getting a throw in here somehow. Carbon boots it all the way across. But again, nobody waiting for it. Um, and Shala's there kind of by himself. Everybody closes in on him pretty quick, and he just boots it away. He also didn't have any support. They say a draw is not the worst thing that could happen to us here. If we can get a win, a draw, and a loss out of every three matches, run four points every three, that will be fine. Um, the guess is 30 points to avoid relegation. That puts us at like 34 to 36 points in there somewhere. Um, so, you know, we're okay right now. We've got... Um, Two wins, one draw, and uh, three losses, I think. So our losses are a little bit ahead of where we'd like them to be. That was that was poor. Garcia boots it way up to Shala again, but Carlisle's there. Is he able to corral it? Yep. Oh, it's taken. What the heck was that? We had it. If he would have, our first touch is really poor on this team, and and you're gonna see that again and again and again. Um, I'm sure that wasn't intentional. He's just not very good. Um. Ingbertson still not, he's not getting any better out there, is he? Uh, he is having a bad day. Uh, I'm not really sure who we want to bring in. Let's take it up to about 70 minutes and, nope, it's getting worse. It's getting worse. Okay, so let's see. Um, Herkstall, is that who we're bringing in? It's good passing, good speed, some leadership. His defense is not as good. Well, he's got tackling. You know, I don't have a problem with that, actually. I think he's a legitimate... Legitimate sub for us there. Let's get him in and see what happens. Fresh legs. Uh, we are going to sub him in at some point, right? There we go. Taking a while. Because um, he had kind of a shocker for today. Averaging a 6-3 months and not much better. So they did not adjust well, at least initially, to that change in position. Which is a shame, because it means Monson's probably not going to get quite as much playtime as I'd like him to get. Because I do have to get Berg in, although we could start Berg in the half and then just swap Monson in in the second half. And that would probably keep everybody happy. That was terrible. You just kicked him, you were two inches away from him, you kicked him into the back of him. Alright, what can we do, Rune? Berg, you gotta play better if you're gonna stay in, buddy. Johansson. Feeds it, and there's... Did he touch it? 
Please tell me he touched it so we get a corner. Ah, oh, that was horrible on all counts, but we, we're going to take advantage of it. Dolly gets the corner in. Carbon's back there. We uh, need to make sure Carbon is in, because I think Carbon has good heading, right? Let's, um... He does. Uh, oh, no, nine. Some jumping reach. Okay. But I still think I'd like him in there. Finishing, and he can head the ball. So I think we probably want to make sure that we push him in and change that, that, um... that tactic up a little bit to put the striker in there because he, you know, both of our strikers are decent carbon or decent target men. Um, you can see here, Sveen also has good heading. Oh, his jumping reach is poor. Is he short? Eh, he's 5'11". He just, he's weak. That's it. Um, anyway, so it, it doesn't hurt to put those guys in. I had him back there so that they could break if the ball, or, you know, so if the ball came out, they could try finishing, but I think I'd rather have them in mixing it up. Four minutes of added time. Like I say, draw is not the worst thing in the world to happen to us here. Uh, it'd be nice to beat a team that we're um, that's lower than us at the moment. But as long as we get a draw, we they stay lower than us. <laughs> so that means probably we're going to stay up where we need to stay up. Um, we'll let the assistant give this one. You were unlucky today. I don't know about that. I just don't think we played very well. We were unlucky last time where we created all those chances and didn't do anything with them. Um, but I think this time we were just we were just not very good. Um, so we do have a bit of a break, like a full week this time, till we've got uh, Senya up here. Uh, they are in eighth place, so a little bit better than us, um, but not spectacular. Clearly within striking distance of us. Um, actually, they're in tenth place now, so very very similar. They've got one more draw as to our loss. Um, but yeah, like I said, if we could. If we can do a win, a draw, and a loss, we'll be okay. We're a little bit behind on our wins at the moment. We need to do that. Um, but it's been enough so far to keep us afloat. So I say if we were to get one more win next match, say, that would get us eight points, which could conceivably move us all the way up to a solid mid-table mid team, but easily could jump us up a place or two. You know, it's all so tight right now. It doesn't matter. Uh, Bratvog, though, is running away with this thing. Five wins and a draw. Absolutely just dominating. And... Uh, Kelsos is also undefeated. Um, no losses so far. Three wins and two draws. So, uh, and they have a match in hand. So, we'll we'll see what happens with that. But um, not too bad. I say we're we're where we're supposed to be, right? We're just this tenth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. If we can live in here, our job is done. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at dynamics. Uh, our leadership support has been climbing up. Uh, locker room has dropped down a little bit. We were you know, uh, with the loss in the draw or two draws or whatever we've had recently, we have dropped a little bit. Uh, match cohesion is average. We're getting there slowly but surely. Um, and, you know, we're still just seeing this. But if we go ahead and swap Ingridsen back out for Johansson like that, um, I thought, we, oh, because we we swapped out Osthagen. Um, we put in Herx. Well, they really think he's the best guy for that. I think we've been running Herkstall in there. So he likes... I think rollability, Osthagen's better. Let's do a quick comparison. Osthagen versus... Uh, Herkstall. Quick look here. Uh, I think Herkstall's better. I think I'll take that over the, the bit of speed and the bit of mental. Everything else is better. Um, yeah, I think that's got to be Herkstall, um, and that's fine. But we've got that there. Um, interestingly enough, it says Rune plays there as well. Um, so we could do something like put Rune there and put um, Valoy up here as well. That would be an interesting one to see. Um, is Valoy? He's left-footed, so he's not as good at the... They're both left-footed. Do I have somebody I could put over there that's right-footed? He can do either. I wonder what happens if we were to maybe move him. If we were to put Dali out here. Whoops. Why did that not swap? Come on. There we go. 
No, nope, nobody likes. That would be a very rotated squad right there. But, you know, I mean, he has the stats for the position. His long shots isn't spectacular, right? But he can dribble. He can cross. He's got, obviously, the great corners, but that's, you know, just pure set piece. Um, flair, leadership. He's got his visions coming up. Um, pace is probably the issue. Um, I would say pace is probably the issue. Let's let's swap that back. Let's uh, go back to Rune. Go back to Johans. Um, we do need at some point to get Dolly a day off, but. I think we've got a full week. I mean, you can see he's the lowest. I'm kind of thinking when we do give him a day off, maybe we run carbon there, um, like we just kind of talked about, and then we, whoops, why do we not sub when we do that? It all lines up, it lights up, and then it just doesn't happen. And then why do they think Felix is better? Well, he's got good finishing. He's not bad. I don't know if he's improved or just a... Ability is such that you're incapable of knowing what those numbers are specifically, although I don't know. That's not terrible. Um, anyway, and then we were to put Sveen up there, something like that. His long shots isn't bad. He's got... I think his passing is what lets us down to run that. I think that's really what happens. Um... Go back to Dolly. Anyway, enough of that. We'll kind of rotate it back to what I think is going to be more or less our standard for a while. And uh, we'll see how it works next game. So uh, until then, uh, don't forget to thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you hated it. Love to see your comments. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Cheers.